Pisces, welcome to your mid-August general love reading. This is your girl, Mermaid Scales Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me here. This is a general love reading for the sun, moon, rising, Venus, and or any other strong placement for the sign of Pisces. This is a general reading, so please keep that in mind, to only take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't for someone who needs to hear this message. Hi, cross watchers. You're very welcome here if you're interested in a Pisces. Who wouldn't be? I'd like to remind cross watchers and Pisces that energy is fluid, and this simply means you may feel like I'm describing a certain situation in the reading where you feel the roles are flipped or reversed, and that's completely okay. You're more than welcome to use your own discretion to flip those roles, should that resonate with your specific situation the best. All right, Pisces, let's go ahead and get your reading started. I'm first going to use my sound here to clear and set the energy for you guys, so let's go ahead and take a deep breath in. And tune into the energy of Pisces. All right, Pisces, let's go ahead and see what spirit wants to talk to you about in regards to your love life and what's going on happening to give you the clarity, insight, healing, and guidance that you're looking for. Let's see what energy is coming in for you guys in love and romance. Tell me about the energy. Okay, trapped, stuck, tied down, captive. Someone's feeling a little bit trapped or stuck in a situation here. There's something unique about someone's hands. Whether you guys used to hold hands all the time, someone has warm hands, um, someone could have a hand tattoo, a scar on their hand, or a birthmark. I'm seeing very strongly here. Let's get some more information. Tell me more. What is this trapped energy about? Why is this trapped energy here? Curiosity, connection, bonding, unraveling. Ooh, I'm starting to get a sense of something here. I almost feel as if someone thinks the other person or a situation regarding you, Pisces, is a bit of like a temptation, a bit of like biting the forbidden fruit. I wonder if you guys are coworkers. I wonder if this is an, an ex possibly that feels because you guys have been separate, distant, that they can't have you. But they think about you with this curiosity here. For some of you guys, I'm feeling Gemini energy very strongly. Someone could have Gemini in their big three, perhaps. Tell me more. Epiphany. Realizations. Understanding. Awakenings. Okay. Someone could even be trapped in a certain situation that is affecting the connection here. Whether it's work schedules. Whether it's a karmic situation someone's trying to get out of. But I do kind of feel with this epiphany here, by the end of the month, Pisces, someone is really starting to realize something about you, about this connection they've had with you. And it's through this constant thinking of you. They can't stop about the times that they've had with you, the memories they've had with you. They can't stop thinking about your smile is kind of what I'm getting here. Someone thinks you have really nice lips or something about like dimples when someone smiles. And I'm even seeing like... Uh, you know, an avatar, someone's Facebook profile picture being like a closed mouth smile that someone just always thought you had a really cute smile in a sense. What are they coming to the epiphany of? What is someone realizing here that they're really not trapped, that they can actually do something about this situation if they feel distant from you, if they feel like it's been silent between the two of you? What are they wanting to do? What are they thinking about doing? Because that's the energy I'm feeling here between the two of you. And I do feel for some reason that Pisces, this, you left the ball in their court. I do feel as if with this trap situation, there was something someone that was unwilling to do, to be open to trust, and you did your best to kind of make that situation open for them, but they still didn't feel ready, prepared. So you kind of just drop the ball on them. And I do feel like either you pulled back your energy or you've gone silent or you may have broken this off. But it has been a big wake-up call for them with this epiphany card here. 
Rainbows may be something you've been seeing quite a bit recently as confirmation for you about the situation here. You definitely think about each other, but I think it's because of the strong energy of how much they think about you, Pisces. Let's get into the tarot and break this down a bit. Tell me more. Tell me more about what's going on in Pisces' love life. Dead center, this is the Nine of Wands, Sagittarius energy. Crossing this, we have the Five of Swords. Yeah, someone's mentally conflicted over a situation. And with the Nine of Wands, that's that blocked energy I was feeling, or at least disconnection. And it's really making someone go through a hard time, a tough time. But with this Five of Swords, they don't know if you want to hear from them. They don't know if you would want to talk. So that's what's keeping them kind of distant from you. But they're having this internal mental battle over, should I reach out? Should I just stay away? How can I fix this? That's a big question that they're having right now over this Pisces. Crowning this is the Eight of Swords, Gemini energy here. They're stuck. This is the trapped energy, right? And what's interesting is this tied down thing. I wonder if they're afraid to be tied down. This could be someone who's very independent, who is still trying to, or what they think is still trying to find something out of life that they feel like a relationship would stop them from. But maybe that's the epiphany they're getting here, Pisces. You're not trying to trap someone. You're not trying to make someone stuck. Like that's not your vibe at all. Pisces is a free spirit. Pisces is a dreamer. Pisces wants what's best for both situations, both people. They're very empathic. They care a lot about the other person. So I don't get where this trap sense is coming from unless they've been in a previous relationship where someone was extremely controlling, was always jealous, was possessive. And that may be a fear that's playing out in this situation currently between the two of you, whether that's on your end, Pisces, or this person's end. Rooting this is the moon card here. Pisces energy, cancer energy for me as a reader as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So bottom of the deck, we have the two of wands, Aries energy. So I do feel with the two of wands here, this person, when you guys met, was very strong in making this work with you and reaching out to you, wanting to hang out with you. They were persistent with their messages and you felt like a strong sense of desire, attraction. I'm not gonna lie, it did start off as a strong physical attraction, sexual attraction. They saw you and they wanted you. They were the first to ask for your phone number, your social media, and then was texting you ever since to kind of start getting a first date. With this two of wands here, the attraction was strong initially. And I feel with this sense that someone is kind of starting to see that this attraction is meant to go further even. That it wasn't just meant to kind of be a fleeting temporary thing between the two of you. Although it may have been short-lived, like it only lasted a couple months in a sense for some of you guys, or maybe even some of you guys met in February. Just throwing that out there. February is an important month of this connection. When you met, when you stopped talking, whatever, right? But yeah, the yearning is still there. The strong desire is still there between the two of you. And the passion is strong. But the communication is off. The clarity is off. But that's because someone is keeping all their true thoughts trapped captive within themselves and they're definitely choosing to do so Pisces but it's bothering them it's really spirit in a sense is trying to push them to go beyond this usual route of just letting things die out of being so afraid of putting themselves out there in a sense to really bond with someone intimately and definitely it's because of some sort of fear of being trapped fear of being used or fear of being with someone that is controlling, jealous, and you're just not that, Pisces. But they pushed you away to keep themselves kind of safe from that energy. But those were just projections. Those were just fears. Mm 
So let's get into it. At the dead center of this is the Nine of Wands, Sagittarius energy. The distance between the two of you is really starting to bother them, even if they were the ones to initiate it. They thought that was what was going to be best for them, but it turned out to make things a lot more difficult, a lot more stressful. They're completely bombarded by their thoughts of you and they can't control it. And that's really wearing them down. But I do feel spirit is not doing this to break the person, but to get them to realize this epiphany before it's too late. Yeah, these, I'm really drawn to these pink clouds here. I wonder if you guys have been seeing pink clouds recently or when you were with this person. There was, you know, you guys saw pink clouds together in a sense that's coming through here. Maybe it's a metaphor from spirit that, you know, this, the cloudy type of energy that someone is refusing to kind of get out of. There's a lot of purpose to these thoughts that spirit's trying to guide them to you, Pisces, about. But right now, they're still kind of resisting it. They're still not fully believing in it, Pisces. Yet, there is the pressure is gaining. Someone could smoke uh, cigarettes, weed, a vape pen that they use quite a bit as well, I'm seeing. But what's crossing this is the Five of Swords. Aquarius energy. This is the challenge of it all. These are the multiple thoughts that some of them are good. The memories of you, what they miss about you. Others are, if you reach out, you'll get rejected. They don't want to hear from you. You put an end to this. Why would you try to start it again? I do feel you guys did not leave things on the greatest terms. There may have been like an argument that was last texted to one another, spoken to one another. And they may be afraid that their words that they use are going to be used against them. I really do get a sense someone feels as if they didn't mean what they said to you, Pisces, but it still hurt and they know that that's going to be some sort of obstacle to overcome between the two of you. But yeah, I kind of just ultimately feel the challenges two different things I guess I'm feeling here whether okay how do I reach out to Pisces I can't stop thinking about Pisces there's so much more that I feel for Pisces but how do I even say it how do I even text it after everything we've been through or how I left things as and then others of them it's like okay if I can't be with Pisces Pisces is not open to me for whatever reason obvious or not how can I stop thinking about Pisces because they literally can't stop thinking about you with the Eight of Swords, with the Moon card. My goodness. It's a struggle for both of you, but Pisces, whoever this is, this intensity is trapped feeling that's an energy is carrying here, it's on them times 10. I can reassure that. And they're, I don't know, their communication for some of you guys are on and off. And that's what kind of initially led to the, you know, you not being as interested in this, you not caring about this as much. They really, I feel, didn't want to come off as like clingy, but it just made you feel like they didn't care. It did not work in their favor, I could say, if that was their strategy. What's crowning this is the Eight of Swords, Gemini energy. Yeah, so what you see from this right now or what you will be seeing from now till the end of August is this refusal to communicate, someone keeping themselves from communicating to you. And if it's not like you guys aren't talking to each other, there's definitely something they have not told you that they've been trying to hide, that they really have been trying to hold back with all their might and you sense it and you feel it with the moon card here. And I think it's bothering you because it's like, what is there to hide? I want to clarify this Eight of Swords here. What is this trapped energy about? What are they refusing to say? Or if they're refusing to talk, why? What is the purpose? Nine of Wands coming out twice. Okay, someone could be seeing a lot of nines. You could be Life Path Nine. Your birthday could be March 9th, March 19th, perhaps. 
Leap year baby February 29th for some of you guys out there. But yeah, it, it's the sense of I already pushed Pisces away. We haven't had that passion. We haven't reconnected since. They almost feel helpless thinking that there's no way they could reopen this with you currently. Although spirit is trying to get them to wake up to something else. But again, this need for independence, this need for things to be their way. Tell me more. I want more. Eight of Wands. Strong Sagittarius energy here with the Ace of Swords. So I wonder with this Eight of Wands here, if you guys talked a lot through text messaging, phone calls primarily, DMs, FaceTimes, and that really came to a halt where it was once like pretty consistent because of some sort of disagreement or argument or someone kind of having enough with the pushback with the Nine of Wands here, it halted. And maybe they tried to kind of in their own way respark the conversation, open con communication back up again, but it wasn't working. Or maybe Pisces, that was you. Sensing there was something wrong, sensing there was something off, trying to talk to them about it and they just didn't follow through. So I think they really realize or are afraid that they dug a hole that they can't get out of here with you. I do feel like they check on your social media quite a bit with the Eight of Wands, but they don't follow you anymore or they haven't followed you, but they still look up your username and still go to your page and still see what you're up to. Or they tried to do that and they found out they were blocked. Seeing that for some of you guys here and that's making them feel as if they can't start a communication or conversation now. What's reading this is the moon card. Pisces energy, Cancer energy. I do feel with the moon card here, there's still a strong psychic connection between the two of you. Your feelings are still very bonded with one another. You sense each other's emotions and feelings from a distance. And that's why I was kind of feeling with the curiosity card, the thinking type of situation here. Like you may start to think of them randomly throughout the day and that's when they're thinking of you. I, I sense that very strongly here. But with the moon card, yeah, a lot of fears. That trapped energy. Now, whether it's I'm afraid to open up cuz or I'm afraid I already messed everything up. But the intensity is growing and not like a passion intensity, but like spirit really trying to guide them away throughout this before they're lost in the woods for sure. With this moon card, someone may have recently had a dream of the other person. That was significant. Spirit was trying to use that dream to give clarity here that someone has not given clarity in thus far. But I, I got to get, a, I have to say, Pisces, like, you may not be seeing their effort in the 3D, this um, sense of want for you in the 3D, but you are feeling it in the 5D. And I want you to know you're not crazy. You're absolutely correct here with all the cards I see. But fear is what's keeping them stuck. Fear is what's keeping them from reaching out to you or even apologizing to you if some of you need an apology here. I want to kind of clarify the moon card here too. Tell me more about the moon that's rooting the situation. Two of Pentacles. Capricorn energy. They don't know what they want. One moment they think they want you, think that they want to start this, but then again, the next day, what if it doesn't work out? What if I can't be who I want to be, have my own routine, my own terms? They flip-flop. And that's what's annoying you, Pisces, is the flip-flop, is the inconsistency, is the back and forward without ever making up their mind and being clear about it. And I get a sense too that like they try to play it off jokingly. They try to keep it light, try to keep it kind of goofy in a sense. 
every time they try to come back or every time they reach out to you, but you're kind of over the casualty of it. And you know that they're like trying to put up a front about something here. Tell me more. Yeah, four of cups in reverse. Cancer energy. Bottom of the deck, the wheel of fortune. Wow, Sagittarius energy, Pisces energy here. So with the four of cups in reverse, you're done waiting. I feel as if with this four of cups in reverse, you think the opportunity has kind of passed at this point. Yet the lingering is still there. And the lingering is this person still in the process of holding on to your energy and letting it go, or trying to let it go at least. But with this Wheel of Fortune at the bottom of the deck, there is something that has been destined here between the two of you for you to experience the situation. I do feel that Spirit is trying to lead them to or show them that this could expand further. This has so much potential here. If you just kind of give it a shot and give it a chance. Spirit is trying to expand this person, lead them to this epiphany and this awakening here between the two of you. And Spirit's trying to rush up the process too. But as there's like destiny, there's also free will. And as much as Spirit tries to guide us on the right path of what we're meant to experience or meant to have, our ego can try to mislead us and not make us go down that path. In the recent past, we have the Ace of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. So with this Ace of Swords in reverse, communication may have recently just stopped. Stopped talking just, you know, a few days ago, last week, and it's still been pretty silent since. I also want to say if you guys try to have a conversation with this person, they didn't feel ready to tell you the truth. And so they may have lied and tried to use that lie to change the subject or to stop the conversation or to protect themselves. But that lie is that hole they dug. I don't feel it's like lying about age or lying about if they have kids or not. I feel it's more about not telling you the truth about what is really going on in their head about this situation. Because trust me, they're thinking a lot about it. They don't want to expose themselves by telling you what they're thinking about as far as what they go on and off as being curious about, wondering if there's more that could happen here. They feel like the truth would expose them more than help them in a sense. But I feel like that was almost your last straw in this case. That is what made you kind of drop the want to con conversate, to continue this. It's almost like if you don't want it, I don't want it. But I can tell you, Pisces, it has them all messed up now because that was not their intentions. I am clarifying that for you. And I think with the Ace of Swords in reverse too, with the ups and downs of this, what someone's been going through in a sense in this test, and the state of being trapped, in a sense, is keeping someone still in the clouds, still in the illusions. And I feel with this Ace of Swords in reverse here, the more someone's unwilling to talk, the more someone's unwilling to have this conversation, the more it's going to remain stuck. Because now I feel it's a little bit one-sided. And unless they really talk to you and come correct and explain, explain themselves, really, in a sense where it's not excuses, in a sense where it's not just, I don't know, means to kind of cover up the real problem here, then you're not going to be open to this. So spirit really is trying to give them this wake up call, Pisces. Spirit really is trying to give them this understanding, but it's been a struggle on your end, on spirit's end, now this person has to do their part in trusting and opening or else they'll just be forever left with the memories they have with you. All right, Pisces, to see the likely outcome of the situation, what is likely to happen and unfold in the upcoming weeks as this goes on, we're going to go ahead and take this to Vimeo for the extended reading.
I'm going to overturn this card here to show you the likely outcome this of this situation. Pull some more oracle cards, tarot cards to just dive deeper. If you still have questions, let's get those answered in the extended reading. If you'd like to join me for the extended reading, open up the description box and you'll find a link to Vimeo which will take you to the extended reading. But if this is where we depart, Pisces, I really hope that this reading resonated with you. I hope it provides you with confirmation, clarity, insight, healing, and guidance in regards to whatever it is you're going through in your love life at this time. And if it has, please let me know. Drop a comment below, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe. I love you, Pisces, very much, and I'll see you next time. Take care, Pisces.